So, on the second travel trip of my gap year, I headed up the east coast of Australia for eight weeks. From crazy islands to long overnight buses to meeting the best people, I'm so honoured to take you guys along on the adventure. Noosa. Literally the most gorgeous town in Australia. I loved it so much. It was like a mix between a chilled beachy surfer town and a rainforest. It was so nice to wake up early that morning for the first time in ages and just appreciate nature. I then had my breakfast at the hostel. The kitchen literally overlooked the forest. It was stunning. Porridge. Porridge with a view, should I say. Good morning, guys. It is 6 a.m. And we are awake. We are currently getting everything together for our mini expedition, our little um, kayak around the Everglades for two days. I'm feeling like less ill, like a lot less ill, but I just don't think I slept very well. I just couldn't get to sleep very easily. But yeah, I'm feeling optimistic. This is gonna be fun. I've heard amazing things about this trip. Just getting everything together now. We've, we've left ourselves a lot of time, which is good, so it's not stressful. We got picked up by the Canoe Capers shuttle bus, taken through a beautiful forest, and then we prepped all our stuff. So we brought the two sleeping bags that we bought for the festival. We also had to pack a tent. It was like a proper expedition. And we were doing it self-guided, so we didn't have a tour guide. And then we began the exhausting adventure. I was dench after this. My arms were strong. So we've just been splashing around for like an hour or something. And I've got to say, this is one of my favorite places I think I've ever been. Like one of my favorite natural spaces. Me and Kerry have just been alone here. It's just been magic. magic. The water has like a red tint because of all the tannins that the trees release. The reason the Everglades is so famous is because the river kind of forms a mirror. Like it's so reflective. <laughs> Very good thing that I did Duke of Edinburgh because guys, we are on the Trangiers. I don't know what made us think that we'd be staying in a campsite with running water, but we were wrong and we did not pack enough water for the two days at all. So yes, um, we ended up having to drink the manky red tannin filled river water. Curry is filling up our water from the river right now. And we're basically hoping that, you know, when you boil it, kills all the bacteria or whatever, you know, it's suitable to drink. So that's our current plan and we're gonna make couscous with the trangia as demonstrated here. Using my daily skills, we just boiled up the river water for our couscous and it literally looks like urine, I know. Oh, it looks like yellow. Ooh, what was that? So we've officially eaten the couscous. So now we find out the, if we die or not. Oh, hi. It's been half an hour, we're still not dead. After lunch, we continued on our mission. It's so beautiful. Even though I was aching, we kind of took it really slow. Guys, you will never guess who we just saw. Going past on a little motorboat, we just saw Ava, who we like, we went to the creek with and she was in our room in Surfer's Paradise. We just saw her casually go past on a boat. Like what? It's such a small world, especially on the East Coast. Like if you're going the same way as someone else, you'll probably see them again at some point. Even the rain was beautiful. It was like shattering diamonds. And because you're so sweaty and it's so warm, it doesn't really matter. You kind of embrace it. So guys, we've just seen the first of the campsites. We're getting there, we're getting there. For so long, we've seen no one and nothing and no indication of a campsite or a pontoon. Uh, 10 past seven. Hey guys, I don't know if you can see us right now. That's the point, it's pretty dark. Um, okay, so our chilled approach to paddling for the last few hours has not paid off because we are now approaching nighttime and we still are not at our campsite. So we know we're somewhat near because we've passed campsite one and campsite two and we are campsite three, but the Everglades get scary at night. <laughs> like very quickly like, all the gnarled trees and everything i'm finding it a little bit creepy but i don't think we've paddled so much this whole time like we are just straight paddling to be honest so we'll be there hopefully like soon but yeah hey guys okay so we've got some other camp people over there who are 
some like teenagers or like they basically <laughs> they basically gave us the leftovers of their vegetarian food so we just had like rice and beans from them which was really nice we're just in the tent it took us far too long to make the tent um we're just trying to work out what, what we had to do we're ready to collapse good morning guys um so it's like 6 a.m we're awake we dragged ourselves awake um why is my voice like gone uh we're just trying to get off kind of early because we know we have a huge kayaking day ahead of us and we have to get back before three in order to not pay for the kayak i'm just setting up the trangia i'm off to get some manky river water mm -hmm. yeah update we never did die from drinking the water so i think it's okay and we're gonna do it again <laughs> After a breakfast of some oats with boiled water, we packed up the tent and the sleeping bags and then we went back to our beautiful little boat. Look at the river of mirrors right there, how gorgeous is that? And then we headed off. The adventure begins! We paddled for hours that day. Isn't that great? We took lots of little mini breaks, I had my trusty trail mix. This is what I, this is what I picture Australia like. But yeah, it was a lot of exercise. Guys, we did it, we did it, we're back. Oh, my eyes are like, I don't know why my eyes get sunburnt. I don't know if it's a blue eye thing, but look at the difference in the bit of the eye that's seen the sun and the bit that hasn't. <laughs> White and red. I am so proud of us. Like, I was just, like, we did it. We did it, we survived for two days. We drank river water and we're fine. But yeah, on the last bit of the journey, we were singing songs. We were like, uh, my GoPro ran out, which is why I've not filmed any of these fun adventures. But me and Gary each got out because it's so shallow and just took turns dragging the boat and just letting it, like the other person just rest. And now we're back at beautiful Hulse Lodge. We're in like a three three-bed dorm. And also, look what you get. I'm actually so impressed with this because I don't own a hat on this trip and my scalp is burning. So, I'm fully gonna be wearing this. Thank you, Hulse Lodge. But yeah, guys, that Everglades trip was one of the best things I've done in my entire life. Like, one of the best natural things I've ever seen. Um, if you go to Australia, I can't recommend it enough. And self-guided is the way because there were times where it was just us that we would see for like hours and it was just beautiful and so peaceful. So yeah, it's been untouched by tourism. Do it while it still is untouched by tourism. The company we did it with were also amazing. Like the people were so nice. I couldn't wait to like see them again and they like congratulated us. They were called like canoe capers and I'll leave the link in the description. But yeah, they were lovely. The next day we were refreshed and we had all the happy vibes. We had such an early night the night before, so we were ready to go. And there's Helena. Love it's my Helena. Omelet. Um kind of scrambled eggs, but I think it's a good omelet. Probably. Good one. So today we are heading to the markets in Nusa. We are conveniently here on a Saturday and the markets only happen on a Saturday. We are independent queens and navigated the bus service. Apparently. The markets are the biggest on the east coast, which I was not expecting. And apparently there's like three levels of markets. What have you gone for, Kerry? Tropical breeze. And now I've seen other people get tropical breeze. I'm like, why did I not get that? We've got a green goddess, mother earth thing. Hands down, we spent too much money here. Oh my god, they had every food imaginable. Every cuisine, every culture of food. It was amazing. Like, look at these vegan donuts. Oh. It was just beautiful as well. Like, anything you needed, it was there. They converted the whole town into the Amundi market. So yeah, it was just, it was just amazing. Cannot recommend enough. After a long debate, guys, I decided to try Tibetan momos with soy sauce and sweet chili sauce. I got two fried steamed and Kerry's still in the debate on I give Tibetan Momos a 10 out of 10. Hey guys, okay, back from the markets, feeling stuffed and I've been bitten on the face, which is cute. <laughs> um, I don't know what stroke of like bravery slash madness has come into me, 
but I've hired a surfboard um, because they're free here. So I was like, of course I'm going to hire one. Why not make the most out of it? But yeah, I'm just going on my own to the beach to go surfing. I'm not a pro at all. So I don't really know like why I'm pretending that I'm pro enough to just go on my own, but let's give it a go. And I'm burning, so I put a t-shirt on. <laughs> let's go be a surfer chick. I admired my optimism, but guys, I was not at surf camp anymore. These were not beginner's waves. I was flailing around in this deep bit of the ocean where I could hardly stand. I got battered by waves. It was kind of embarrassing and I really didn't last very long, but I was proud of myself for trying. I got back in time for a beautiful sunset and I actually did some editing while Kerry did some travel planning. And this is the nicest cider I've ever had. Yeah, like it's such a good cider guys. I really am not, not an alcohol person, like the taste. This just tastes like appetizer. It's so nice. So it's a video. I'm, it's always like, I'm, I'm so full, but I'm eating But thrilled. Yeah. Look What's who up? We see <laughs> again. What? Are We've you stalking been, us? You're stalking me. And the fun fact <laughs> like, is you've been in the hostel for like a week and I have been as well. Yeah, and, and we, we haven't just realized seen you. And we could have like hung out the whole time. But Ava's here again. Yeah. Yay. We're probably going to see each other up the coast again. You probably will. Yeah. Oh, we love you, Ava. I love you too. Breakfast time again. This view never gets old. On to another beautiful breakfast to fuel myself for the day ahead. We were going hiking. There is no way you can go to Noosa and not explore the beautiful national park, the rainforest. Hey guys, so today we are embarking on quite a few hikes. You're meant to do them on separate days, but we only have one day, so we're doing them both today. Um, so first we are venturing to the fairy pools, and then later we're going to attempt to do the big coastal walk in the national park, which is meant to be gorgeous. But yeah, it's like a three and a half hour walk just to get there. So that is the plan. Kerry's just filling up her water and hopefully we don't get super sunburned. Even the walk to the national park was just gorgeous. I'm starting the path now. And I just sat for a while and was reading all these signs about this national park. And I feel so much more well informed now. Like this whole place is so interesting. It's the land indigenous to the people of Cabi Cabi. I was reading all about like their history. I was reading about the plants and how fire resistant the majority of them are. And like seed pods that open after fire. It was so welteringly hot, but all the views made up for it. We passed like literally so many beaches. Australia has such an abundance of beaches, let me tell you. Okay, and we found the fairy pools, but I was led to believe that they were beautiful, calm pools that you go and get your Instagram photo in, maybe chill there a little bit. But in reality, guys, it's terrifying. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Every time a wave comes in, you literally fear for your life. Like it comes and swirls you in. Are you ready? Oh, oh, are you ready for that wave? <laughs> fearing for my actual life. You can't stand and you're trying not to get battered into the sharp rocks. So you've got to be confident of treading water and very aware of the waves. Oh, hey guys, so it's only been four hours, but we did it. We've made it to Sunshine Beach. We did the whole coastal walk, which is the longest walk you can do in the national park. This one, 10.8 kilometers. We're here and we need to now walk here to get the bus. Unless you want to do the whole thing again, Kerry, like, I'm up for that. We did it! <laughs> Baby, do you know what that's worth? Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. The utter bliss of being on a bus. <laughs> yeah, this is the we... first time I've felt dehydrated. Really? Yeah, we've run out of water. We, and we, we didn't pack lunch, guys, so we're just hungry and like ready to eat. And we're gonna get another one of those beautiful ciders from Hulse Lodge. A jug. A jug. <laughs> we're not big alcohol people, that shows how good the cider was. Yeah. yeah. But it's just because it's so cold. It was cold, it was fresh, it was apple If you go and make the ride, yeah. I'll, I'll order us a jug of cider. So okay, can... and then we'll sit and we'll have our Manky rice with our cider. Yeah. Hey guys, so this is hey, Helena. Hello. She's like working for accommodation. Yes, like, I am here, here right at the now. hostel. Yeah, and she's just the loveliest Aww, person. Thank ever. you. So lovely. We've just been sat with Helena. 
and carry his hair. We've just been sat there like chilling for ages. Now we're gonna go and make dinner. I FaceTimed home, posted a photo, just been like, just chilling. It's just been nice. I'm just using this difficult device to cook my dinner. <laughs> So we are chilled, we are ready. Uh -huh. Helena's finished work, generally. Yes. And we're both very, very tired. Really tired. Really shattered. But Pirates of the Caribbean yes. is worth it, isn't it? We're finishing the film. Yes, definitely today. But I'm so tired. <laughs> Day we had to leave. I have my tea, I have my breakfast. I am just getting myself ready to check out. It's been a while, but I finally got the bag closed. Finally got this bag closed. And I have a bag of just like stuff that I couldn't fit in my other bags. It's about 9.30 now, I'm gonna check out. And basically there was a bit of an issue with the Greyhound buses. So that's how we're traveling in Australia, is the Greyhound buses. I have absolutely no idea how we managed to do this, but I booked myself onto the 1.50 p.m. and Kerry booked herself on the 9.50 a.m. So basically Kerry's gone. So yeah, I'm gonna check out now. I think I'm gonna go for like a rainforest walk or maybe go to the beach. And then I've got my notebook and I really just wanna sit and like do some journaling on my own for a while. So it's kind of it's kind of nice having like alone time, I suppose, um, when you're traveling with someone. So yeah, I'm gonna do some journaling or get my laptop out and just maybe start editing the first vlog. I don't know. My eye is actually really painful. And it's started to swell up below my eye. I think I might have a sty, which is really not ideal because we've got the Fraser Island trip coming up and I really don't want a bad eye. Onwards on the adventure. A collision, a decision, whirling in my heart. I have no idea what's up this very long set of stairs, but um, Let's go for it. It looks like a rainforest and I'm so up for that. This staircase was deaf, but it was gorgeous. I can confirm that this walk, though steep, is very worth doing. Even though it doesn't really lead anywhere. Untouched, pretty rainforest and there's no one else here. And yeah, it's gorgeous. Just sat and did some yoga. It's really nice. And oh, this was the most tragic meal I had the whole trip. Free bread that was out of date from the free food section. I don't like peanut butter, but I still had it. I basically found some bread and some peanut butter on the free food shelf. So I was like, oh, well, it's free, isn't it? Could I look more tragic? <laughs> and then I got the bus and headed to my Greyhound bus stop and was super early. I only have to wait 50 minutes. <laughs> And then I made it to Rainbow Beach, which is kind of the deadest town ever. It's so weird. And then I found Kerry. Long time no see. Everyone stays in Rainbow Beach just one night before they go to Fraser Island. I'm up there. Kerry's up there. Home sweet home. We're getting ready for our Fraser Island experience. People always say this is like the highlight of their trip, either Fraser Island or Sundays. We stupidly somehow missed the safety briefing talk. We need to pack our stuff tonight. We need to get stuff in lockers. Um, we can only bring a small bag onto the island and there's like loads of like requirements for what we can and can't bring. So that is the plan. We're gonna go get our bearings of this cool place now, hopefully meet some people. And there's only Wi-Fi in the common room. So let's head to the common room. <laughs> Honestly shocked. Who leaves passion fruit in the free food section? Amazing. Everyone was enraptured watching the snake guy get the snake. It's actually the seventh deadliest snake, so I'm pretty glad that he was there. 